Drug development is an arduous task and not without risk. But when investors are provided an advantage of training on interim data from a late-stage Phase 3 trial, they certainly increase their chances for success. Sologenics Inc. is providing that benefit. In fact, Sologenics investors are being given a rare opportunity to follow the trail of positive interim data, already published from Sologenics's two late-stage Phase 3 trials, amplified further by a positive recommendation from the Independent Data Monitoring Committee, or DMC, for its late-stage SGX942 trial, leading many to believe that more good news is imminent. Zach's small-cap research thinks so, too. Setting a 12-month price target at $8 per share, representing a more than 700% increase from current levels. What is it that they see? The initial focus is likely on Sologenics's Phase 3 oral mucositis trial, Dominate, where interim results thus far have indicated that the drug may be right on target to meet its 90% statistical significance threshold. And with top-line data expected during the middle of 2020, SGX942 may be nearing an FDA approval. But there's more. The company and its investors may benefit from a second catalyst after top-line final results from its Phase 3 CTCL trial, Flash, gets released during the first quarter of next year. And like the Dominate trial, this study is supported by positive interim data as well. The results of each trial's success can be substantial. After all, FDA drug approvals from these two Phase 3 clinical programs alone bring with them a combined market potential of more than $500 million in revenues, an amount that excludes the potential revenue from Sologenics's rare disease and biodefense programs that can possibly double that amount. Best of all, the Sologenics pipeline isn't likely to face stiff competition, as each of these potentially lucrative drugs are targeting markets where there is an unmet medical need, including treatments for pediatric Crohn's disease, oral mucositis, cutaneous T-cell lymphoma CTCL, and protection from lethal ricin toxin exposure. And, unlike many late-stage small-cap biotechs, Sologenics has the capital resources in place to complete its late-stage trials as well having in place non-dilutive funding options that can help to expedite the path toward drug commercialization. Is Sologenics ripe for exponential growth? Well, with two late-stage Phase 3 programs nearing completion, following positive interim analyses, combined with multiple other programs in the rare disease pipeline that have each earned Fast Track or Orphan Drug designation, that answer is yes. To learn more about Sologenics and each of its ongoing trials, please visit www.sologenics.com.